Hello and welcome to another session of using VBA in PowerPoint 2013. This is session 6 and in this session we are going to talk about constants. Right? So you'll see how to work with constants in this session. So what are constants? Constant is a value that uh, does not change. So there are uh, different kinds of constants that we have seen earlier. We have seen built-in constants and we have seen user-defined constants. So today we are going to do some hands-on with uh, built-in constants and uh, user-defined constants. We'll see how constants are declared and uh, how they are used in VBA. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the VBA editor and start working with the constants. So press Alt F11 to get into the VBA editor. Once you get into the VBA editor, you'll see the project window here. If you do not see the project window, press Ctrl R or uh, go to view and uh, use project explorer here click on it right and once you have this right click on it and uh, say insert and click on module so once you click on the module you add a new module you get this uh, code window here right so let us write some code where we are going to use constants and we'll see how those constants are used in our powerpoint so we'll start with some built-in constants So let's uh, write a new subroutine named sub using built-in constants, right? So first of all, let's add a shape in our PowerPoint presentation. We'll add a blank slide and here we'll uh, insert a shape, will be a circle. Right. So this is our circle. Let's change the color to black. Okay. Right. Now let's see how we can use a constant which is built into 4.2013 and use it to modify our shape here. Right. So let's go back to the VB editor. Let's write a code here saying active presentation dot slides here we are interested in slide number 4 you can see 1 2 3 4 right so we we'll write 4 then shapes we know that we have only one shape here so we we'll write shape 1 ok we can close this uh, project explorer here because we are not going to use it anymore just close it we'll have some bigger area to write on so we have written active presentation dot slides slide number four dot shapes one dot fill dot four color dot scheme color equal to pp accent one right so this pp accent one here is a built-in constant that PowerPoint 2013 already has, right? So let's run this code and see what happens. We'll use F8 to run this code in the debug mode. So now we press F8 again and changes the color to pp accent one, right? So PP accent one is a scheme color which is inbuilt into PowerPoint 2013. This is called a built-in constant, right? So if you want to see a lot of other built-in constants, you can use the object browser. To get into the object browser, you can go to view and click on object browser or just press F2. When you press object browser, you will see classes and members of the classes listed here right so wherever you see this icon here it says that this is a constant right so if you select on this like it says backstage group style error if you select that it will say constant backstage group style error and that's the value of this constant right so let's close the object browser so here let's uh, add a couple of more shapes and uh, 
use built-in constants to do that right so let's add a rectangle and see how it looks like so we say active presentation dot slides dot slides for dot shapes dot add shape let's say add shape here you can see that there are a lot of shapes already listed here these are nothing but your built-in constants so if you want to add a rectangle you will probably select MSO shape rectangle right now this MSO shape rectangle has a couple of parameters in it like the first thing that we need to specify is the left parameter which says how far is it from the left edge of the slide so let's write something like 100 then the next one is top let this also be 100 then we have to tell how wide the rectangle would be so width as single so let's say 200 and the height let's say 50 right now we'll fill the rectangle that we have added so we'll write dot fill dot four color dot rgb is equal to rgb will be 102.255.102 so here we're declaring the values for red green and blue as long right so let's see what it does let's run the macro once again and uh, check how it adds a new shape in the ppt let's use f8 to run this macro so this is the first line that we have written earlier where it changes the color of the circle that we have added earlier right and these are new line where we are adding a shape to it so this is our new rectangle that we have added right similarly if you want to add one more rectangle or one more shape you can write active presentation dot slides dot shapes dot add shape we'll add a different shape let's add a four point star right then you have to say the left let's say it's uh, 400 top let it be 600 width should be 200 and the height would be 300 right then let's fill it again dot four color dot rgb equal to rgb let's choose a different color this time one dot one dot 200 so it'll be more like bluish tint so let's run this code and see what it does right so let's comment out these two because we already have run them let's run only this one line so let's press f8 so just added a four point star right all right so this is how we have used built-in constants in uh, VBA in PowerPoint 2013. Now let's see how to declare and use user defined constants. So let's write a new subroutine called sub using user defined constants. 
as opposed to the built-in constants the user defined constants need to be defined or declared initially so to declare an user defined constant you can write const i left as integer which equals to 10 so i'm defining a constant named i left which has the data type of an integer and a value of 10 so what we are going to do is we are going to use this constant that we have declared to align all these shapes that we have in our slide right so we'll make the left parameter of all these shapes equal to our constant here so to do that we can write for each shape in active presentation dot slides for dot shapes shape dot left should be equal to i left next right so what it does is it is going to assign this value i left to all the shapes that is there in the present slide which is slide 4 in the active presentation right let's see how it works let's zoom into our ppt now let's use the debug mode to run this code here so we'll press f8 now once we run this line it brings the first shape to the left where left is equal to 10 right so this is the first shape because this was the shape that was added first the next shape would be the rectangle because that was the one which we added next right okay so the left parameter of this rectangle also has been changed to i left again if we press f8 it brings the four point star to the left and align it with the other two shapes so all the shapes now have the left parameter as 10 right so here we have seen how a user defined constant was used to align all the shapes in the slide to the left right so let's run this uh, subroutine once more and this time let us change the value of this constant let's make it 200 and see what happens let's quickly run through the code f8 and it changes the left parameter of all the three shapes to 200 right now one interesting thing here is if i try to change the value of this uh, constant here if i try to assign something else say i left is equal to 300 and then we run this code and see what happens right let's comment this out because we are not going to use this we're interested in this line okay so here we are defining the constant i left and giving it a value of 200 and here we are trying to assign a new value to this constant right let's see what it says so when i press f8 it says compile error assignment to constant not permitted which makes sense right like if you have a constant you should not be able to change the value of it or assign a new value to it the constant has to be same throughout the procedure or the program right all right Let's click ok you can go to msgn where you can get the vb re reference for powerpoint the link to the powerpoint vb reference on msgn will be provided in the description below please take a look there you will find all the concepts and how to work with the objects that are there in uh, powerpoint 2013 right so that's all for uh, this session i hope uh, it helped you in some way if you liked our videos share and subscribe to our channel and uh, if you have any specific questions please uh, use the comment section below we'll be more than happy to answer your questions in the next session we'll see how to declare variables and constants uh, which can be accessed throughout the module right and we'll also see a little more about data types and how to select the correct data types okay so till then stay tuned keep learning take care bye bye